Hey, what's going on guys? It's Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming with another mod for you today. This is going to be the Death Chest mod. Pretty cool mod. It leaves a little Death Chest wherever you die, if you guys don't know about the mod yet. What we're going to do is we're going to start very from the, all the way from the beginning. I know it gets a little repetitious for everybody because they don't want to start all the way from the beginning. So if you have model, mod loader already, I'll try to put a, um, a skip annotation to just the point when you install just Death Chest mod. If you guys don't know how to do it, take your time and watch the whole video. That's the only way you're going to get it right and you avoid a lot of like stupid questions or like easy things that you could have fixed if you watched the video. Alright, so let's take our time, get it done right, and let's get started. First thing we're going to do is um, on the right corner, there's going to be a playlist for you guys. Anything that's for this version, you'll see all the titles there. Those titles you can click on, add those to your Minecraft, have some fun install a bunch of mods they're always updated every single version if they install the same I keep them like that for you guys okay first I'm gonna do is look at the forum page this is the mod little forum page the guy does on the mods obviously uh, death chest mod right here you can do uh, airfly which I suggest because it helps him out he works hard on these mods so we can get these mods so we can play them you can do direct download if you want it's up to you but try to do airfly if you can all right you scroll down to the bottom so you see death chest for the version that you're looking for, make sure you always download the version that you need. And these mods will keep installing the same way. Unless Minecraft changes their launcher again. Whew. This one's not an easy one though. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is start up um, our Minecraft. Start it up. Fresh new Minecraft again. That's what we always use to show you these installs. We're going to do a new profile. We're going to call that profile... A death <laughs> uh, use the latest version enable all other versions on this when not snapshots come out you can mess around with those worlds uh, once a week and you can check out my snapshot updates once a week this one's pretty good update so far so let's see what they got next for us right so we do that we got our death right there our profile let's click that on we got to log in for that guy again. Every time you make a new profile, you have to log him in. And you hit play. You let everything load up. Quit game. And get out of here now. Because now you got the jars, everything where it has to be. You want to go to your start menu. Do percent app data. Percent data, data, whatever you want. Roman file, click on that. Dot Minecraft, double click on that. You want to go down to versions, double click on that. You want to right click in here, make a new folder. Call that folder 1.6.1 D for the death chest mod, right? Or whatever you want to call it, but from whatever you call this folder, it's what everything's going to have to be called from now on for this, for this uh, mod for you, all right? You go into 1.6.1, the latest version, or whatever that version is. You copy the jar and the JSON file. Copy. Go back one. Go into the one you just made. Right-click, paste that in. You want to highlight that right there. Get right in there and put a D in there. Get right in there. Put another D in there. You want to go here, right click. You want to edit with Notepad++ or Notepad. You want to go into here, right where it says ID. Look for the ID part. It'll say 1.1.6 or whatever version you're looking at. Looking for. Put the D in right there. Make sure it's right there. Everything's exactly the same. Go to save here. Go out here. And then you got your jar, right? Your new jar you just made. Go to open up 7-zip or WinRAW, whatever you're using. Open up Archiver. Delete that meta in folder. Now you're right back into your normal Minecraft. It took a little bit, but we're there again. <laughs> Go to Mod Loader. Right click with Mod Loader. Open up with 7-zip or WinRAW, whatever Archiver you want to use. It's up to you. Highlight the first mod. Hit Control A so you highlight everything. Take everything in here and drag it into the class files. Never drag it into the files here. Always drag it down into the dot class files. You hit yes. You want to do all that 
you want you want them all to copy into there. Now you're done here. You're done here. God, my phone's been crazy. I'm sorry. Open up your Minecraft. Let's run it. Let everything run. Let my loader get in there. Right? You want to edit that profile. Your death profile right here. Use the versions. You want to take this and go to the version we just made. I'll say release on it because it's the latest version. So whatever that version is, it'll be the latest version. 1.6.1D. Click on that. Save that profile. Hit play. Let that profile load up. Do its thing. Let my loader get in there. Do whatever it's got to do. Give it a few seconds. It's a little, you know, a little buggy. Take its time. Quit all this out of here. Let's go back to percent app data. Not dollar sign. Percent app data data percent. People are bugging me. I'm saying it wrong. So, I don't know. Deal with it. Click on your Roman. Back into your dot Minecraft. Now you go right back down into your versions right here, right? Double click on that. You go to your new jar that we just made before. Open up that. Now you got a mods folder, right? Open up that mods folder. Slide the death chest mod that we downloaded from the forum earlier. Close this out. Start up your Minecraft. And everything's in. Let's play Minecraft. You'll see the Mojang sign. Lower down here. Lower down here. Uh, single player. Create new world. I guess we'll do survival. Just let this load up. And we're in. So guys, thanks so much for liking the video, rating it, and until next time, peace.